Using small mirrorless cameras is a super easy and budget friendly way to get into live streaming. But the more gear that you start to add to them, the heavier they get and the more unwieldy they become. This can be tough on your volunteers as they're struggling to hold them during the entire service. But I found a solution. What up, I'm Josh from Budget Church Live Streaming. Our camera rigs have gone through a lot of iterations, as I'm sure yours have too. We keep on adding new components like monitors, tally lights, SDI adapters, bigger lenses, you get the point. While all of those things are very nice to have and genuinely improve the quality of our live stream, it came at a very serious cost, the weight of the camera. We run two handheld cameras every Sunday on our stage, and our volunteers started to tell me that they were getting a little heavy to actually hold during the entire worship service. Obviously, that's something I had to take seriously. I mean, none of them are professionals, and even if they were, I wouldn't want them to wear themselves out carrying cameras for our church service. But at the same time, I wasn't really sure what I could do about it. After all, we needed all of this gear. There was a reason we were putting it on the cameras. I was racking my brain for different solutions that might present themselves, when one day I came across something on Instagram. It was posted by Chad Vegas, who's the video production director at Transformation Church in Tulsa, right up the road from us. I saw him post something about this new camera rig they were setting up, the new Sony Venice Rialto system. Now this right here is not the actual picture that I saw him post, but it is the same camera that he posted about. And the keen-eyed among you, who am I kidding, keen-eyed, it's obvious, the camera is on a backpack. This blew my mind because I'd never really seen anything like it. I mean, you look like an actual Ghostbuster here, except instead of sucking up ghosts, you're taking video of people. I almost laughed when I first saw it, but then I realized the genius behind it. You get all the benefits of a giant camera body and the smarts that go into it, but also all the benefits of a small mirrorless camera in the portability and the overall lightness of it. By just putting the camera onto somebody's back, it offloads so much of the weight that now they're able to operate a camera handheld without the help of an easy rig or anything like that. And all it requires is this little cable running from the backpack to the actual camera unit in your hand. Now here's the thing. Our camera rigs are nowhere near the size of these Sony Venice systems, even at their biggest. But that doesn't mean I couldn't steal some of the design language behind it. If they can put their camera parts into a backpack and run it up to the sensor like a Ghostbuster, why couldn't I? So I got to thinking and designing and eventually shopping. After weighing a lot of different ideas, I ended up with this our camera belt pack system. I know, I know, it's a little bit underwhelming after all this buildup I gave you about the Sony Venice and Rialto and fancy camera backpacks, but hear me out. This little guy right here has allowed our camera rigs to go from looking like this to looking like this. Our volunteers have loved it because it's taken a lot of weight out of their hands during the actual service and made it a lot easier to carry the cameras during the entire thing. Not only that, but it also makes them look really, really cool. I'm kind of kidding, but I'm also kind of not. I kind of dig the look. So let's dig into it and see how it is they actually work. The basic idea is to make sure that each camera operator only has to hold the things that are actually necessary to run the camera. So in our case, that means it's the camera body, the lens obviously, a monitor, and a tally light. Or actually in this case, a little Velcro landing pad where the tally light's gonna end up. Everything else goes in the belt pack, which offloads a ton of weight off of the camera. Speaking of tally lights, if you wanna know how I made the ones that we use, go check out this video up here. It tells you exactly how I made them and how you can make some for your church too. Anyway, all of this means that the cable running from the belt pack to the camera has to contain three different things. Power for the monitor, power for the tally light, and the video output from the camera. So let's take a look at the belt pack and see how we accomplish that. First off, I've gotta say, though I think it's obvious, I didn't physically make these belt packs. I bought them on Amazon, they're about 20 bucks. I looked at a lot of different ones and actually went through a couple different prototypes before I found one that I liked. I'll put a link to the one that I ended up on in the video description. As for how I chose, I was really looking for a few different things from it. I didn't want it to be too big, but it also needed to be able to fit all of our different components inside of it. I also wanted two points of contact on the camera ops body. So in this case, it goes around the waist and around their upper leg. This particular belt pack that we ended up with checks all of those boxes, but it may not check all of your boxes. So if you're gonna be making one yourself, figure out what it is you need from it and go from there. Okay, so that's the belt pack itself, but what all do we put in it? Well, if we look in the main pocket here, we can actually see that there is a V-mount battery plate as well as a V-mount battery that clips into it. You're able to put this in through the main opening and take it out the same way. It's a little bit tight, but that's kind of by design because I don't really want it rattling around in here. This V-mount battery and plate 
are used for powering the monitor and the tally light on the camera, as well as the HDMI to SEI adapter that we have for our cameras. Speaking of that adapter, that ends up in this pocket right here. You can see the SDI side pokes out the top here. That's to allow our camera ops to actually plug in the SDI cable once they're on stage. We don't have wireless cameras, they're still hardwired, so they need access to these ports. I also had to cut a small slit in the side of the bag right here. This is so that you can access the power button, the battery release button, and the USB ports on the battery plate. It kind of closes up once it's on your actual body and it's hard to see. This helps people from pushing buttons accidentally and potentially unplugging things when they don't mean to. All the rest of the pockets here are basically used to help cable manage everything so that there's not cables hanging out on every single side of this belt pack. That would look terrible and could potentially get snagged on things, so we want to keep things as clean as possible here on the belt pack. So remember, we need to have three cables running from the belt pack to the camera. That's power for the monitor, power for the tally light, and the video cable. Those come together at the edge of the belt pack here and then get electrical taped all the way up to the camera into one single umbilical cord that we can plug in the different things. So a camera op on a Sunday morning will come in, pick up the belt pack, strap it around their waist and their leg, then they'll grab their camera and plug in the HDMI cable and the two power cables. Then they'll go up on stage and plug in the SDI cable that's gonna run their video feed back to the switcher. It honestly couldn't be easier. Well, I mean, I guess it could, but you know, within reason. This has made things way simpler for our camera ops. They don't have to carry such a heavy camera anymore, and getting access to the batteries and camera settings is a lot easier now that there's not a V-mount battery and other cables in the way. Things are lighter, so it's easier for them to hold and get good shots during church. And we've been able to add a little bit of extra weight with some nicer lenses, which has just helped our live stream look better overall. Speaking of live streams looking better, do you feel like yours could look a little better? Well, use the form below and sign up for a live stream review. I'll get notified and I'll take a look at it and send you some tips on how you can make it better. Now, obviously a system like this isn't perfect and has its drawbacks. After all, it was only 20 bucks to put together, so it's not gonna be without its flaws. Because everything runs through these pockets, it means a lot of the cable connections are a little bit hidden. And that means if one of them gets bumped and disconnected, it's hard to know. You basically only find out because something on your camera turns off and you don't know why. That's not great, but after five months of using these, it's only happened one time, so I can live with that trade-off. Similarly, if one of these cables were to die, replacing it would be a pain because of the way that they're routed and taped together and zip-tied and everything else to keep this clean. Replacing one of them is honestly just not a great time. Realistically, it's probably still only gonna take 10 minutes or something, but it's just gonna be kind of a pain and I am not looking forward to the day when that happens. Because of that, I try to make sure that everyone treats these cables nicely. And honestly, that's the attitude that we have towards all of our gear, which I think is a great example to set for your team in general. Other than those couple of considerations though, these bad boys have been solid. These belt packs even have the word tactical in the name, so you know they're basically gonna last forever, right? Even forward thinking, these should serve our team very well as we move into the future. Want to get a new camera that we're powering off a V-mount battery? Great, we've already got a battery on our belt. Want to go wireless? Awesome. Add that receiver onto the belt pack instead of the SDI adapter and you're good to go. Need to switch over to a wired comm solution for some reason? Well, you can either put that in the belt pack or strap it on right next to you and combine that cable with the SDI cable that's already running to the belt pack. So now it's not really an extra thing, it's just kind of in your overall system that's already there. It's possible that some of these changes would require bigger belt packs, but the overall idea and concept remains, so I think it's something that we could easily transition to. If you're looking to put one together yourself, just remember you need to know what all of your actual needs are for your camera. Make sure that the belt pack is going to fit everything that you need inside of it, make sure it's not gonna to be too big and bulky, and make sure that it's something that will actually work for your team. Obviously, you also don't wanna spend an arm and a leg on it. Like I said, this was about 20 bucks, and I really don't know that I would pay much more than that for something like this. You can also think about other form factors. We settled on a belt pack, but it could have been a backpack or a crossbody bag. One of our volunteers actually likes to wear it as a crossbody bag, so, you know, that's always an option too. I hope this helps you out or at least sparks some sort of creative solutioning to a problem that you might be facing. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions on how to make this better, or if you end up making one yourself, I'd love to know about it. Until next time.